Hi everyone, it's Reese from the Barbican Young Reviewers and today I'll be travelling to the Barbican Theatre to see a musical performance called Dirt Song performed by the Black Arm Band. Now they are an indigenous Australian music company who will be using music to tell us the story of their heritage as well as the parts of Australia that we seldom get to see. I don't really know what to expect from this show but what I do know is that there will be didgeridoos and that is enough for me. So let's go. Cue the travel montage. I've seen Dirt Song at the Barbican Theatre and I have to say, oh, it was so good. It was, it was good. It was, it was good. I think it's the best thing that uh, the young reviewers have sent me to see. The first thing that I heard about was that musicians playing a song alongside videos in the background. And that was a premise for the LA Philharmonics concert as well, which if you saw my last review, I wasn't too fond of. So I wasn't sure, I went in with an open mind and they blew me away. The show starts off and this woman comes on, she's striding to the stage and she goes up to the, to the mic and she starts to sing. It's beautiful, it's so full, and it's welcoming. It's like she's saying, come, welcome to our world. This is, this is Australia. And then as she's doing that, two other singers come in. And what I loved about this was that these women acknowledged each other. They turned around, they held hands, they smiled. They were like, welcome. And it was like family members welcoming, uh, welcoming each other after they hadn't seen them in so long. And they start to sing and it's beautiful, it's great. Images in the background, the landscape of Australia, it's great, gorgeous. And then this guy comes on. He's bringing this this massive like bin of just all this miscellaneous junk and for this minute It's just theater. He's there. He's interacting with the other band. He starts taking out bits of the junk I'm thinking where is where is he going with this literally you realize he's making a makeshift drum and then the didgeridoo player Gets up sits at that drum set and starts to play he starts to challenge the, the main drummer and they're like, let's go. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. After that, the same guy takes like two boomerang and just starts clapping them together and another song begins. Everyone's jumping around and dancing. The audience are allowed to cheer. The audience were allowed to whoop and clap and enjoy themselves. The band then began to do body percussion and then they had children in the background as one of the videos um, doing something similar and it was like I was watching children. Like, I wasn't watching adults anymore doing a job. I was watching kids, big kids having fun. And to be honest, it didn't even feel like a performance at the Barbican Theatre. It felt like a really intimate gig at um, like a coffee shop or at a park and they just decided to play for kicks, you know, like one of them called each other and was like, hey man, I want to be free this Sunday or whatever to come and play. It's like, yeah, yeah, let's go. And they just came together at this park and suddenly this band comes up and starts playing. Everyone, every one of the band was great. The, um, the pianist was wonderful. The drummer was so good. Both drummers, if you include the didgeridoo player as well. The saxophonist, smooth, great. Trump, the trumpet, trumpeteer? The trumpet player was solid. The violinist, oh my, he was so smooth. And then the didgeridoo player, already I, I mentioned that the didgeridoo player was one of the reasons why I want to see this thing. I had no idea there was so much range to what you could do with that instrument. Singers were soulful excellent and they sang in so many languages who knew Australia had that many languages if I'm gonna be nitpicky uh, the only thing maybe I'd say that I had a issue with was um, when they did sing in the other languages they would have words in the video that I guess was describing or giving a summary of what they're singing about but sometimes the font was the font was a kind of really fancy kind of font and sometimes you didn't really know what you were reading. Sometimes the word faded away too quickly and then you didn't get to read that properly and you're like, ah. That's my only real criticism I have of the show. Well guys, this has been my final review for the young reviewers and from the comfort of my own garden as well. And I hope you enjoyed it. Honestly, Dirt Song, I have to say, fantastic. It had incredible themes. It made me think a lot about ignorance that we have towards other countries and not understanding the poverty that other people live in. But more than anything, it was joyous. Please don't forget to comment um, below, like, subscribe to this channel for more that we've got going on with the young reviewers. Also, if you have the chance, please check out as well the other reviews done by my beautiful reviewers in crime. Cleo, Ali and Holly. But as for me, that is me done. Thank you for watching. And I hope that these reviews have inspired you to go and check out these shows for yourselves because we can only tell you so much. You have to go experience it for yourselves. But that is me. I am done. Sayonara, everyone. Take care and I'll see you later.